Boys! Boys! Wah! I found a sick game. Okay? It's absolutely mint. So, I was notified the other day of a game called Silica, right? I'd heard about it like two months ago, but I was like, yeah, whatever, who cares? <laughs> whatever. But uh, the other day, um, my dear moderator and uh, wife, Foxling, was like, Hey, there's this game called Silica. Uh, you should look at it. And I was like, All right, yeah, I'll go look at look. Sure. I went over to the Steam store. Yeah. And I looked at it and I was like, Okay, so it's an RTS and an FPS. And I thought, Okay, that looks interesting. I'm not sure how it's going to actually play. So I bought it and I jumped in and, uh, uh, yeah, holy shit, it's a fucking beautiful. Now, right off the bat, let's get it out of the way. For all those people who have come in here, yes, it's an early access. Yes, it has some bugs. Yes, it needs some work. But here's a fun fact. It's made by one guy. The majority of the game, including its design, mechanics, features, all that good juicy jazz, is made by a single individual. I am blown away by the creativity and the talent of this guy. Now, supposedly he is an industry veteran, so he knows what he's doing. He has the skills, he's got the, the, the juice. So, so what is it? How does it work? What, what do you do, wizard? Tell us all of the details, wizard. So, it's an RTS in the sense that you can play it whilst looking down, right? and doing all your eco and spawning units and harassing the enemy and sending stuff here and putting buildings down and blah 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 you know rts players you'll know what i mean right we will have some gameplay in the background enjoy um and then at the same time it's an fps now how the how does this work so basically the units you spawn in you can play and as the commander, you could switch if you were playing single player straight away. You could do it in multiplayer too, but you might not get your commander roll back. But you can just press T, switch over to a guy with a gun and start shooting or a tank or a bug. You can play the bugs and, and the bugs are fun, right? And they're fucking massive, bro. But the juice comes in truly when you have all the play like the full lobby experience right so we me and focusing we played a couple normal ones right just just the two of us just messing about playing against the ai ai is a little buggy still it needs some work pathing is meh, not great and we were like yo this is fun this is really fun when you're walking through the desert as like a little infantryman and then some bugs just come over the mountains and they're fucking massive and you just get slapped into the oblivion it's an experience and the game translates this experience by being way better looking than it has any right to be for an RTS game. And the difference in perspective from above as the RTS player and below as the FPS player is staggering. It's a completely different experience of the game and it's so impressive. As the FPS player, you have no idea what's going on except what you can see. And yes, there is a map you can pull up, but it doesn't really tell you that much information because you can only see what the team can see, right? The commander, he's seeing all this stuff. When a battle is playing out, maybe you got a grunt, he's on the ground shooting at bugs, but the commander, he's looking down, he can see the bugs flanking around, the units coming into support, all the juice, everything happening at the same time, and it just comes together so well. It's stupid how well it comes together. And all the mechanics that are there and all the, the systems are way more polished, even, like in, even in early access, than they should be for this style of game. The vehicles feel good to drive. The characters feel good to move around on. The gravity, like the whole weight gravity mechanic thingy, like jumping and moving, is sick. The gunplay leaves something to be desired, but is an incredibly good initial stage, right? Like this is an early access made by a single dude. I played fucking Redfall yesterday, which is some AAA bullshit studio. Holy fuck, what a piece of absolute dog shit. This is like, that's like millions of dollars, full team, production lines, blah, 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 crap. I, and then this game made by a single guy, sick. We live in a gaming industry so fucked right now, it's not even fun, Jesus Christ. So, 
so more details more more juice you have the aliens right and you have the humans it's a it's a very classic story of humans go and colonize planet Humi is like, yes, planet, great. We want all resource. Aliens are like, yo, bruv, what are you doing on our homeworld, bro? That's toxic. And so they fight. That's it. That's the class. It, that's all it is. Humans, you got no melee, right? You've got tanks, Vic, scout cars, all the good like juice you can fulfill your american colonization fantasies deploying in with railgun tanks and rocket launchers sniper rifles zooming around in little buggies with machine guns on top sick right beautiful aliens bugs and when i say bugs i mean just picture starship troopers and there you go that's it you got little crablings which are like your little spawn stuff you got your little farmers you got the spitters and then you got big chunky you know armored boys and then the the goliath it's it's all great i'll it, yeah it's it's beautiful now the balancing should be here and right now it's like there right but not for one side in particular it fluctuates so like if you do certain things how do i put the veteran rts players will very quickly pick up on the weak points that you can exploit for both sides and they're not so bad that they're like game breaking but i mean you know you're gonna have to learn if you're an rts player you're gonna have a, actually have a great time because there's actually a degree of uh sophistication to this the humans can just troop blob and go forward and just start killing stuff but the bugs can't the bugs if you just do that you're gonna get killed by a plethora of aoe explosives right so you have to actually be really creative and there's like very in my mind at least well thought out layers of strategy in how the bugs and the humans have to play from the early game through to the mid through to the end and it changes and it's actually quite sophisticated on top of that the way the map is played right <clears throat> so traditionally and you know most rts's i've played you have a main right your main hub and that's like where you stay but because of the way the resources work and because of the fact that some of the maps are quite large in this game you are encouraged to expand out and establish forward operating bases and like more bases just in general and like you know you might start the game in your one spot but then later on you're going to have your spawning pools and everything over in a completely different spot and same for humans not as bad for humans because they have pace they can you know their vehicles are quite fast compared to the bugs but the bugs have the intrinsic advantage of being able to basically climb up any vertical surface in the game so whereas a cliff might not be ascendable by a tank the bugs straight up no issue which also leans into the strategies you can attack from very interesting angles as the bugs there's one game which i will have the footage of right here because it was sick this was the first game we played full lobby and the humans were constantly having to push up this ramp to attack us and we just had bugs on the cliff sides above them push shooting down and we had bugs coming up from the sides below them and just swarming from every angle and it was actually so much fun it was sick steam reviews have said a lot of stuff about the ui so let's touch on some of the negatives ui is yeah it's bad but it, it's not so bad that it's like you know yeah it, it's 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 like less it's it's pretty shit I'm not even going to defend it. It's, it's not great. Um, there's no way to rebind controls and the controls that you have. Traditional RTS players might get a bit triggered, to be honest. Uh, for example, you can assign control groups, but there's no way, a clear way to see them. There's no key bind. It seems to instantly bounce to home. I'm not, I haven't tried testing if you can bind a nest to home. I should do that. So you can you bind like two hunters, which are like fast moving scouts for aliens to control group one. And you double tap one every other rts game when you double tap one you'd get dragged your camera would drag over to it right that doesn't happen here so as an rts player you're doing a lot of clicking around the map it's very easy to miss things because there's no pop-ups or sound cues or pings when things happen you also can't ping in general to be honest it'd be very interesting to add a ping system not only for you as the commander but also for your players who are controlling bugs right um that i would love that as a feature that way they can relay information back to you effectively 
and you can more easily understand what's happening on the map. There were quite a few times where stuff happened and either I missed it completely or I only noticed something because my camera was conveniently in that location at that time. And so that, that needs some work, right? Just these are all quality of life things that I have to say. As of this moment, the main things I would say are AI pathing. For example, the human harvesters suck. Massive donkey dick. Simple as that. And quality of life features. Additionally, the negative Steam reviews, I feel like a lot of them went in and played the game single player, got frustrated and left. Maybe encountered some of the harvester bugs. Although this game has a single player component, I highly encourage anybody who does pick it up to get into a full lobby. You will, of course, run into situations where it's like, uh, we're in a full lobby and this guy's sick and we're just getting wrecked. Of course, that's like every single other game has ever been made. There's nothing unique there. But the experience when you get into a sick full lobby and everyone's like on it and like doing stuff and you have two good RTS players is wild. It's wild. We had the most crazy stuff happening as well as like banter back and forth, you know, in the all chat. Actually just dope. It, it, I don't know how to explain it. it. The game delivers an experience. How do I put this? The, the images and the footage that you see on the Steam page do not give justice to the experience you actually go through playing the game as like a, a ground soldier. And having this like, it's kind of insane the fact that, here's an example. The siege tanks, when they were pushing up, I, as an art, as the commander, there's only so much I can do, really. I was spawning units, I was trying to organize my units to attack, but having the ability to have players controlling bugs means that they can do things that the AI just can't. Like, for example, taking crablings, the weakest level unit, jumping on top of tanks, and then numbing them while they couldn't shoot back. Getting underneath the tank and, like, eating it from the inside out. Just this adds a, a dynamic as an RTS player that you just can't usually experience because your AI are limited in what they can do. And suddenly you have units that have human level intellect. And it's just like, well, that's not saying much, is it? But, but it allows for very fun things to happen on both human and alien side. Now, admittedly, I've mostly played alien so far. However, we'll be streaming later on and uh, we'll be doing mostly uh, humans. So, you know, come on by if you're interested in seeing how the game is played. We're gonna be having a great time. We'll be having some open lobbies. There are only 12 slots in a lobby. However, I've seen lobbies with 14 and 16, so maybe there's a way to gimmick it. On the matter of lobbies, dedicated servers are coming, supported by Steam. However, at this current moment in time, they are basically self-hosted by whoever is hosting. So, the issue can arise where maybe you have a friend who's a bit further away, his internet is not so great, and he can't connect to the server because, well, ping is a bitch. I have seen the ability to connect to servers around America Central, Central America, that not that like, not like Mexico, but like mid Midwest. That's it. That's the word for it. Midwest America. Um, it was a little bit buggy, like, not that buggy, I put it on a server 180 ping, sometimes a shot or two would miss. Interesting. But overall, the game seems incredibly stable. But, but that's it. That's it, really. There's a good variety of units, and there's even some teasers that air units are coming soon. So, not only are you going to be able to drive tanks and buggies, or, you know, run around as aliens, you're going to be able to fly. Now, what, what other game? I mean, there's Planet Side 2. Now, Planet Side 2 does that well. But what other game are you going to be able to have, like, your mate as the RTS commander going, all right, guys, I've spawned you a dropship. I need you to take this dropship and, like, fly around here and then deploy, like, troops. And maybe it can carry a vehicle, right? And then you and your buddies, like, you spawn in and you load up. And then one of your mates gets in. He's, like, flying. You know, it's only 12 players right now. But imagine when it's, like, 20 or 30 or 40 holy shit it's gonna be ridiculous there's gonna be so much crap happening on a dynamic level 
like personally to me the idea of being able to just go yeah here's my eight, my eight tanks now they're all controlled by humans i fuck with that now yes some people do still put stuff but that's fine because the game's early on and everyone's learning and having a good time for example siege tank is op against goliath goliath big big trash it is what it is but hey nonetheless I highly encourage you to take a look at the game. If you're still on the bench, come by the stream. We had a ton of people come through the stream yesterday. We had like 200 people collectively come through the stream. It was wild. And a bunch of people followed, stuck around, and a bunch of people loved the look of the game. So if you're on the fence, come by the stream. There will be a post somewhere. The links will be down below. We have a great time. We're going to be banging out loads of this game. The stream will start at around 4 to 5 p.m. UK time at the moment. I'll leave a link to my Discord. Everything's updated in there. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Maybe follow, subscribe to me, you know. Get those numbers up so we can get some early access shit going on. I've been your host, Wizard. This has been a fun one. There's a really annoying video about Redfall coming out tomorrow, so if you want to see an alternative wizard where I just bitch and rant for about 10 minutes, there you go. I love you all. You're all fantastic. Have a lovely day wherever you are, and uh, yeah, peace.